everybody to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, <coughs> we are going to... Uh, we're going to go make a northern outpost. That is the plan, so... Um, let's see how things are looking over here. We got a level 5 chicken there, and a level 4 chicken there, okay? So, what I've been doing with the chickens is I have... Basically, when these... When these guys hit level 10, I go out and just capture more chickens, and about half the time I shoot them, they, I get them alive, and then I just butcher out the level 10 and replace it with, um, you know, uh, a new one. And in doing that, I've, I've actually gotten five whole chickens. One of those chickens I split into the reared meat to make some of the chicken stew, to just you know, just to do that. Um, so it's actually been working out quite well. Um, but since the chickens we currently have are not uh, ready yet, we're just uh, we're just gonna butcher those. Uh, all right, so lots of stuff to get you caught up on here. Let's um, let's get a couple things done first. Uh, we'll turn the light on so you guys can see what's going on. Let's get our hands washed. <clears throat> it is now March, as you can see in the upper left hand corner. So winter has finally gone. Thank God, man, that was a long winter. Uh, so let's see, we have enough eggs here to make two steak and eggs um, so let's get that going now so I've been you know getting enough eggs uh, to to build up steak and eggs plus I got a bunch of liver and onions and I keep making the tomato soup for the carbs and the food is just amazing right now um, I also just finished killing a moose um, about five ten minutes ago um, and got this new rack of ribs which we will turn into the roast ribs and veggies in fact do we have everything we need to do that right now I think we do uh, here's the footage for that, by the way, and also a couple of other, uh, of locked crates that I've gotten off camera. Okay, so yeah, we have everything to make another thing of roast ribs. Let's do it. Beautiful. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, we're doing really good. I also want to make a, a, a roast chicken, too. So let's grab one of those chickens. And that requires potatoes, onions, and carrots as well. Um, I have moved my farm plots back up to the roof so I don't have to use uh, the lights anymore for that uh, to save on power. Um, so we got that going and yeah, food is just amazing. Okay. So I'm, I'm still reluctant to set up another fridge. I mean, I know I could, but, um, I don't know. I, I just, what I'm essentially doing with meat is just burning it and feed it in, in, in feeding it rather into the mass recycler. And it does seem to work. Okay. To do that. Um, how many onions do I have? We could make some more liver and onions too. I believe they'll stack up to 10 in the fridge there. Oh, uh, I got two full stacks of, of raw liver already in here. Um, so I guess we'll put that stack in for now. And yeah, pretty much the steaks, I'm just, I'm just burning them because I don't have room for them. I don't really need that many steaks. And if I just, if I set up another fridge, I'm just going to use up that much more power in not really kind of willing to do that right now. Uh, so anyway, all right, let's let that cook. <clears throat> I've upgraded a few things. Let me put a few things away here first, and then I'll kind of get you all up to date on that stuff. All of this in here. The wood can go in there. The hide goes in there. Uh, this, oh, we got an attack. Let's go deal with these guys. Uh, where's it coming from? Uh, up here. Shot him in the nuts. Uh, 
Okay, he's dead. Is there a third guy? Nope. I think that was it. That was actually my fault. I kind of stumbled a little too closely to Alpha's base um, on my last trip out. So, yeah. Um, and apparently they didn't appreciate me trespassing on their property. Uh, too bad for them, though. All right. Anyway, let's get back down into here and continue on. So let's see. What are we doing? Um, oh, yeah, we were putting a few things away. So let's get uh, that put away, that put away. We're also just burning the chicken meat, too. Um, that and that can go in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Those items go in there. Oh, the pearls go in here, too. Oh, we're just feeding this stuff into the mass recycler as well. Uh, apples can go in there. I got, like, over a full stack of protein bars. Some people like to put those in the mass recycler, but I find them really useful to take out uh, and about, you know, when, when I'm on, like, those longer trips. Oh, our fires went out. That sucks. Okay. Uh, let's reignite them. And we'll keep those guys uh, cooking up, and then we'll put these uh, on the flame when they're done. Okay, so you have made a couple of steak and eggs. You're working on the big moose uh, steak meal. And let's actually eat this right now. We're going to get so much good stuff from this because we have another one. So here we go. Boom. Yep. New health, new stamina. Fill our, our bars up. And look at this red line, even uh, how much further it even went. So we're, we're almost at 100. That's so good. Yeah, I've just been, uh, like I said, I've just been, you know, pretty damn careful to not die. Or maybe I've just been lucky. I mean, I guess, you know, shooting the moose like I just did isn't necessarily being careful, but um, you know, it was worth worth it to do, so. Okay, so this new uh, steak is, our uh, roast dinner is done. We'll put that in there, and then uh, we're also making the chicken roast dinner, which I'm not going to eat right now, of course. We'll eat that later. Okay, so you guys are burning. Um, now, I wanted to do this power upgrade here, uh, but we're short 150 mass. So we're up to 100. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all of this stuff here. And as soon as these burn, we'll use those too. And let's throw those into here. Um, I guess I guess I could just throw these straight up in there, right? I don't know. Do they give us more mass when they're burned? I didn't even think about that. Main reason, I guess, to burn them is then they don't spoil if you can't put them in immediately. But if you can put them in immediately, maybe that's what we should be doing. Let's look at something here. So this is going to give nine and this is going to give six. Oh, so they do give more mass if you burn them first. Okay. Well, there you go. Now we know why. So we'll get those burned up. Okay. That gets our mass up to 173, so we should now be able to do this upgrade. <clears throat> um, so we're going to need two ingots, adhesives, scrap, and circuit boards. I should have all of that stuff here. And boom, power efficiency. That's what we're all about. I'm trying to get to the point where I don't have to run the generator on a regular basis unless I'm, you know, trying to build power up to build something in particular. Uh, all right, let's get that back. Uh, let's load back up on some arrows here. And what else did we do? Let's see, I think I did... Uh, yeah, I've got the, the extraction speed and the power efficiency upgrade on this. I wasn't going to do the extraction speed, but I'm really having a hard time uh, keeping up with the iron. Partly because I keep finding locked crates, which is a good thing, of course. Uh, but... I keep having to use my iron fragments to make new lockpicks. Um, let's see, what else? So we got we got all of the windmills fully upgraded up above. I haven't upgraded the solar panels yet, but we probably will do that at some point. 
Um, let's actually grab some fuel here. So right now we have 0.22 coming in and minus 119 going out, but that's because the stove's running and we're running two things of... Oh, shit. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to... <laughs> Damn it. I meant to put that in the generator, not the mass recycler. Oh, well. We got lots of it now. Not that I want to waste it, but... Yeah, that kind of sucks, but I guess I guess at least we got something for it, right? Um, That's actually too bad, though, because we missed out then on a lot of the free stuff, but I didn't mean to do it. It is what it is. All right, so we're in the plus now again on the power at present. Oh, man, that sucks that I did that. Damn it, Jim. Uh, okay. Well, what's done is done, right? What's done is done. Okay, so let's see. Um, you are done making this wonderful chicken dinner here, and so we're going to store that in the fridge. So this gives 125, 125, 110, and 9. 125, 125, 115, and 9. This was just a tiny bit better for, you know, for Cap. But I mean, they're, they're both so incredibly good, it hardly even matters, really. Um, nice. Okay. So we're done cooking on here for now. We got extra liver and onions, extra bacon and eggs. I uh, would like to get a couple more tomato soups going at some point. Uh, but we're kind of low-ish on tomatoes just because I've been using them a lot. And uh, let's go upstairs now and check our crop situation. And we might as well dump these guys into the mass thing now too. Uh, we'll grab some fertilizer from there. And let's just run up here. Okay, so we have one thing of onions that's finished. Let's grab those. I got cotton, onions, tomato, carrots, 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 potatoes. Um, okay, so let's do a water. We'll split this in half and do that and then we'll do this and this looks like there's we, oh okay we got a whole bunch of tomatoes uh growing here so i think we're good i'm just going to turn this back into one seed and put that back in there uh you can probably stand to use some more water too okay yeah so i don't run the lights in the summer, you know, spring, summer, fall time, because <clears throat> I just let it get the daylight, and then, it, you know, it's, of course it's not going to grow at night, but that's okay. I'm not worried about that. Uh, as mentioned, these are both fully upgraded now, as you can see. Um, and they do a pretty good job when we have a windstorm or a snowstorm or whatever, uh, giving us some extra power. Okay, so I think that gets us caught up with the upgrades. I do want to start upgrading my weapons, too. Uh, to the next level but man it, it gets very expensive uh, to do that so probably the magnum would be the next thing I would upgrade because I've really come to love this magnum for combat it just seems to be the best weapon for fighting the hunters I think uh, it, especially it you know close to mid-range anyways the rifles really good too but uh, this is you know this has a faster rate of fire so to get this upgrade to the next level we are oh man 12 pearls that is so expensive and then it's just going to get even worse after that in 1300 power. Uh, do we even have 12 pearls on us? We do. We have 15. Hmm. The other thing that's super expensive there is the ingots. It wants four. I mean, we can make them, but like I said, I've been having a problem keeping in the iron. So, okay. Well, that's on the to-do list. When exactly it happens, I'm not sure yet. We'll figure that out at some point. Something to work towards. All right, let's put these in here. Get that mass built up a little more. <coughs> and I think we're finished uh, in the base for the moment. So let's get these topped off. Now, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to... What's it cost to make another wood stove? Pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. So let's grab some of this and some of this. And was it I did it wanted? I think. Yeah. Okay, let's make ourselves another wood stove. 
Um, let's make ourselves a chest. Um, what else did you say you needed? Oh, nails. We're gonna make a wood stove, we're gonna make a chest. Um, and then we're gonna make enough stuff to build ourselves just a small outpost building that we're gonna go up and then build in the north because so, here's the thing if I go all the way up into here uh, looting you know by the time I get all the way into the north I start to run out of um, nu um, nutrients right so I start to get hungry and I you know I can bring stuff to drink and eat with me but that just takes up an extra slot and I'm <clears throat> always like full and trying to figure out how to manage inventory on the way back so I figured well why don't I just build an outpost up here probably somewhere in this area I'm thinking and then if it gets late I can just go to the outpost make water and cook meat to you know to, to eat and not have to run all the way back to the base that night just you know to get back um, so that's kind of the idea behind that and, and I'm thinking you know, somewhere probably right, I want it right next to the water, of course. Um, so probably somewhere right in here is where we'll, we'll do that. And then we have a place to spend the night up north if, uh, if we can't get back in time. So that's the idea behind that. All right, so what we're going to need then is, do I, I don't think I have anything already pre-built, do I? No. Uh, so what we're going to need is a foundation. So let's build that. Uh, we're going to need a door and probably a window. And then two walls. And I think I'll build a hatch again for a ceiling. Uh, so to do that, we're going to need to make two ingots. Damn, those ingots are expensive. But that way I can climb up on the roof, you know, if I need to, to, to see further, shoot something far away, that sort of thing. Um, so let's see, we're going to need that and that and this. And let's put uh, you guys in here. All right. So do I have enough to make two ingots? I do. Oh, man, that used up all my iron. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, iron's a real problem right now, you guys. Everything else is, is, is good, but iron is not so much. Huh. Okay. Um, I might do... Oh, we're, we're going to want, like, a little stair thingy for this. Uh, so let's just make one of those two. Um, I'm thinking about maybe upgrading at least the foundation to to steel too, just to make it nice and strong in case it gets attacked by like a bear or something. I don't think I'll upgrade the whole structure to that, but let's just take four sheets with us so we can upgrade. Uh, we're gonna need the hammer for that too. Um, upgrade the foundation to steel, and I think that'll probably work for for this. All right, so this needs the two very expensive ingots. Uh, you also need some adhesive, so let's grab four of those. And we'll also scrap, uh, or craft rather that. Okay, cool. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this in half. Uh, maybe split it in half again. And we'll take, say, like 50 nails with us, just so we have some nails there if we have to do some repairs. We can get the wood over there, so we don't need to bring wood with us. Right, so let's put all this stuff back. Uh, we might want... Um, no, we, we really only need wood and nails for repairing. Well, we'll need planks, but again, we can make that stuff on site. Now, I am going to want to, <coughs> excuse me, also bring some canteens with me. Uh, but I pretty much use all of the canteens that we currently have here. So, let's make a couple more of those. And those are easy peasy. That's basically just sheet metal um, and cordage. So, we're going to be next to water, so let's just make three. And that way we can fill them up, drink them, fill them up, drink them, etc., etc. So three should be good enough. All right, let's grab the wood stove out of here. I'm sure glad we can take that with us. 
And I think that's really all we probably need to take. You know what we could do, actually? Let's take a half a stack of protein bars. So we have a protein source there. <clears throat> and we could even maybe take some blueberries or something. I don't know. Because they don't spoil. Yeah, we'll take half of our blueberries there, too. All right, very good. Very, very good. So I think we have everything we need uh, to build our outpost. <clears throat> um, what I'm going to do is take three of these with me. And we'll just keep those three in there. Not that it matters that much, I guess. All right, cool. Uh, let's have a liver and onions and a tomato soup. Uh, we don't need it quite yet, so I'll just take it with me for the road. And let's vomitous. Okay, it's getting late. So we might actually end up setting this up in the dark a little bit. Um, either that, or I guess I could wait till tomorrow morning and just do some... You know what? Actually, no. I'm, I'm going to leave, and I'm just going to kind of loot my way there. Making sure I'm in good condition. I'm going to loot my way there, so... so because of that, I'm going to take two of these with me, and let's take a couple of those for the road as well. And maybe an extra canteen. And <clears throat> I'll probably just meet you guys. Well, let's take the light with us too, just in case. Uh, there, tomorrow morning. So, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. All right, guys, I'm back. Um... As it turned out, looting my way here wasn't feasible because I don't have enough room. And it's actually still the same day. We had a little more light than I thought we did. So I was kind of wanted to be right in this little pool here. Uh, we got some wolves being a pain in the ass, though. Um, so I guess we're going to have to deal with them. Just get him out of here. Um, I'll have to loot him later. I, I don't have enough room for his stuff right at the moment. Get rid of this one, too. Okay. Do I have room for these? Okay. So, what we're going to do is let's grab our foundation first. And we're gonna we're gonna put this. Oh, we'll put it up a little ways, maybe here. And then we'll put this down. And the door. Window. Walls and hatch. Which I think we're going to want. Yeah, let's have the ladder go that way. Okay, well, let's grab our hammer. And make the... Hammer, hammer, hammer. There you go. And upgrade this to a metal foundation. Excellent. Okay, cool. Uh, now what we're going to do is... How about if we put our stove in this corner? Like so. And we'll put our chest down here. Make sure it's nice and lined up. <coughs> Perfect. Okay, we'll keep the three extra waters in there and the nails in there. And I guess we should keep a hammer in here too, so I can, I'll just make a new hammer uh, when we get back home. Uh, the one thing I didn't bring with me is a fire starter. So we're going to have to come up with a, let's eat that stuff now. Uh, we're going to have to come up with a biofuel. 
uh, in order to make one or find some matches or something. So let's go out and look for that. Oh, we forgot a door. <laughs> uh, yeah, we might want a door, huh? Uh, shit. Okay. Just re realized that. So yeah, we'll have to cut a little bit of wood and uh, we have nails here. Oh yeah, let's deal with these guys too before they go bad. We can make some biofuel with the fat if we... Uh, where did I kill that other guy? Up here, right? I don't even know if he'll, his body's still here now. If we could get the fire going, but we have to get the fire going first, of course. Uh, I think he probably despawned. So didn't we kill him right about here-ish? I don't know. Okay, well, anyway, let's grab some wood real quick. Uh, or if we can find four medicinal plants, you know, then we can make a biofuel from that as well. Uh, or maybe we find a biofuel in a crate. So let's start looking around for that. But yeah, this is going to, I think, be really helpful to have this outpost up in the north because then I can spend a couple of days out, you know, and about and not have to always get back to the base at the end of the day. At least that's the idea. The other limiting factor, of course, is going to be inventory space itself. Up, 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 up. There we go. We need this, man. We need this like crazy. Let's turn these into planks. The wood that we currently have so far, which isn't a lot. And just got to look around for medicinal plants. Um, actually, you know what, though? The more I think about it, I don't think I'm actually going to start this fire now. We'll just get it ready to start. Because if we start it now, then we're going to have to make another fire starter for later, because it's not a fire I'm going to keep running all the time, just when we are staying here. So that being the case, I mean, we could bring a fire starter with us. The problem is I probably won't remember to do that. I'm not seeing any friggin' medicinal plants, man. Oh, here's one. Okay, so yeah, we need three more of those. Oops, I didn't need to do that last shot. Chicken! Alright, let's get this guy butcher. We gotta get our hands washed off. <clears throat> Still don't understand why we can't wash our hands in the friggin' rain, man. Especially when it's a torrential downpour. Okay, here's... Uh, no, that's a blueberry plant. Okay, well, let's keep looking for medicinals or a crate with a biofuel in it. Either one of those will work. Keep it out for Mr. Bear over there. Getting lots of plant fiber. But that's not what we're after, man. We made the mistake of telling the game that we're looking for medicinal plants. So now it's hiding in front of us. Oh, we might get a biofuel in here. Let's see. Nope. No moss. Okay. Keep looking. Is that a crate up there? No, that's a wolf. Crates, wolves, you know, they all kind of look the same. <laughs> Getting lots of scrap metal today. I like this area. 
That's a really good woodsy feel to it. All right, good. The rain stopped. We've only found, yeah, we've only found one of those bastards so far. Son of a. Well, I mean, like I said, if I have to just bring one with me, I can. I just have to remember to do that. Ooh, look at this. We'll take both of these. Yes, indeed we will. Need all the iron we can get and then some. Well, all right. Um, I guess what we'll do is we can at least load the fire up with wood and then I'll have to bring another fire starter or matches or whatever with us when we come next time. It's just like I said, a matter of will I remember to do that or not. That's a big F, man. That is a big F. Let's grab these nails and um, we'll craft ourselves a door. We'll load this with some wood there. And we'll, you know, more than likely have extra wood with us uh, when we come next time. Can we eat these now? Okay, good. Look at that. We're up to 100 health, you guys. Isn't that a wonderful, a beautiful thing? 100 health, baby. All right, let's get our glow stick out here. Oh, by the way, do you guys know that if you right-click on your glow stick, you can change the color of it? It's kind of cool, huh? I think green seems to provide the most light. Maybe orange does, or yellow. Yeah, maybe orange does. I don't know. Uh, but it's kind of cool that we can do that. All right, well, we're pretty much set up here. We just have to bring an ignition source. Like I said, the next time that we come, um, I have no way to make that otherwise because we need uh, we need the biofuel. And <clears throat> I didn't fully stock this with wood, but what I think I'm going to do is um, stick around here and get it fully stocked with wood and maybe, you know, look for some more medicinal plants so that it is ready to go because... It, you know, it's a snowball's chance in hell that I'm actually going to remember to bring that out here the next time we come to the north. <coughs> Excuse me. But now we have ourselves a northern outpost, so I think it's pretty cool. And um, that accomplishes the goal for today. So we can cook, you know, we can cook water when we come here. Uh, we have some protein and carbs if we don't already, you know, have that on us at the time. Though chances are we probably will have meat on us at the time. And... Um, I might go ahead and leave that there too, just so we have a little extra cordage and some hide. Uh, and I think, yeah, I think that's all we need to do. All right, guys, well, I'm going to let you go here. Uh, probably in the next episode, we're going to, uh, I think I'm going to hit Charlie and Bravo again, just to get some more stuff. And then I want to start working towards, uh, getting, uh, our Magnum upgraded to the next level and, you know, eventually the other weapons too, but I think we'll go with the Magnum first since it's my weapon of choice for combat. And then uh, we'll see where things lead us from there. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.